Hi kids! Today we will learn the decimal place values, tenths, hundreds, and thousands, and naming decimal numbers. So let's get started! Kids, tenths have one digit after the decimal point, like 0 0.5 is 5 tenths, as there is only one digit to the right of the decimal point. So it is tenths place, and we name it as 5 tenths. Here we have another decimal number, and we will name it as 6 tenths. Here is one more. We will name it as 4 tenths. Now, let's name this number. The number before the decimal is whole part. It is named as it is. Then decimal is named as and. Now, if there is one number after decimal, it is named as tenth. If there is second number after decimal, it is named as hundredth. If there is third number after decimal, it is named as thousandths. Here we have one digit after decimal. So it will be named as tenths. So we will name this number as four and one tenths. And is for decimal. Now let's take another example. Here we have to name this decimal number. The number before the decimal is whole part. It is named as it is. Decimal is named as and. So the name became 23 and. Now we have two digits after the decimal. So we will name it as hundredths. So our name became 23 and 12 hundredths. Now we are given with a decimal number name. We have to convert it into its standard form. That is 4 and 6 tenths. Let's learn how we can convert it into its standard form. The number before and is a whole number. Just write it as it is. It is 4. Now, and stands for decimal point. So put a decimal point in place of and. Now, 6 tenths means 6 is first digit after decimal point. So we will write it as 4.6. Now, let's take another example. 24 and 7 tenths. We have to convert it to its standard form. The number before and is a whole number. Just write it as it is. So write 24. Now we know and means decimal point, so put a decimal. Now, 7 tenths means 7, is the first digit after the decimal point. So our number became 24.7. Kids, now let's learn about hundreds place. Hundreds place means there are two digits after the decimal. And last digit must be a number other than zero. This is 
two hundredths as two is the seconds place. After decimal, this is five hundredths as five is at the seconds place from decimal number. Kids, now how will you write six hundredths? Hundredths means there are two digits after the decimal point, and second digit is not zero, so it will be point zero six. As zeros hold the places where there are no digits, also you can write it as. Zero point zero six or point zero six. Now, let's write four hundredths. Four hundredths means there are two digits after decimal point, and the last digit is not zero. We will write it as point zero four. Now. Let's write four and one hundredths. First, write four. Now write and. That is decimal. Now one hundredths mean two digits after decimal place, and second place is not zero. So write point zero one. Now let's write twenty-four and two hundredths. First, write twenty-four. Now write and. That is decimal. Now two hundredths means two is the second digit after decimal, so we will write it as twenty-four point zero two. Now let's write four and seventeen hundredths. First, write four. Now we know and means decimal point, so put a decimal. Now, seventeen hundredths mean there are two digits after decimal point, so write four point seventeen. So, kids, we learned when it's hundredths, there are two digits after the decimal point, and the last digit must not be zero. Now, let's learn about thousands place. Thousands place means there are three digits after the decimal point. Point zero zero two is named as. Two thousands. Let's have a look at a few examples. Point zero zero five is five thousands. Point zero zero six is six thousands. Point zero twelve is twelve thousands. Point one twenty three is. One hundred twenty-three thousandths. So, kids, whenever there are three digits after decimal point, you name them as thousandths. And remember, zeros hold places where the digits are less than three. Now, how will you write four and one thousandths? First, write four. Now write and. That is decimal. So put a decimal. Now, one thousandths mean there are three digits after the decimal, and last digit is not zero. So place one at the third place. And zeros will hold the places where there are no digits. So our number is four point zero zero one, which is four and one thousandths. Now let's write 
24 and 2000. First write 24. Now write and. That is decimal. Now, two thousands means two is the third digit after decimal. So it is 24.002. We place zeros where there are no digits. Now, let's write four and seventeen thousandths. First, write four. Now put decimal. Now, 17 thousands means zero, one, seven are the three digits after the decimal point. So write it as 4.017. Zeros hold the places where there are no numbers to write. Good! So, whenever it's written thousands, it means there are three digits after the decimal point. And last digit is not zero. Zeros take the places after decimals if the number to be written is not a three-digit number. Let's have a look at more examples. Point zero zero four is four thousandths. Point two one two is two hundred twelve thousandths. Point zero four five is forty five thousandths. Two point zero four equals two and four hundredths. Twenty six thousand point. Zero, zero, 004 is 26,004 thousands. 350.66 equals 350 and 66 hundreds. 75.006 is 75 and 6 thousands. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. <laughs> Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. <laughs>